Today, I'm going to share how you stop money to flow into your life. Keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Avalake Janet Oyelami. Today, I'm going to share this particular topic which says how you sabotage yourself from success. Before I go deep into today's topic, let me give the keyword that summarizes today's topic. The keyword today says, do you know that it is easy to lie when you are broke? I will tell you how. Jim Ron said at age 25, he was married and he was a father and working at the same time, but he was broke. A young girl came to his door to sell $2 cookies, but due to lack of cash, he lied to the girl that he had already bought lots of cookies, which it is not true. Lack of money will put you at bottom line. But when you don't give up, like Zacchaeus, who climbed tree to see Jesus because he was a short man, you will become successful in life. Most people love to celebrate their bad day, especially when they turn 50, 40, 20, 10 years, but wish to do so, but never have the money to do so. Most people want to buy beautiful car that they desire, but they don't have huge money to buy it. And because of this, they continue doing their regular job till old age. Hear this truth today. You might be sabotaging yourself. Maybe that is why money is not flowing into your life. Before I share how you sabotage yourself, let me tell you what sabotage means. Sabotage means to deliberately stop someone from achieving something or to deliberately prevent a plan or process from being successful. Self-sabotage refers to behaviors or thought patterns that hold you back and prevent you from doing what you want to do. Now, how do you stop self-sabotage and allow money to flow into your life? Number one, you need to start thinking. I will explain this by giving an example. Recently, I was trying to embark on a big project. I started thinking, what else can I do apart from what I'm doing at the moment that will bring more money into my life? So I went onto YouTube to research, but fortunately, the suggested video given to me by YouTube met what I was looking for. Immediately I finished watching the video, my instinct agreed with that business. Then I started to think of ways to do that job, to get more income so that I'll be able to achieve the big project I have ahead of me. So I started to learn how to start that business. I started to learn what to do, what equipment to buy, because I know that particular business will yield more income so that I'll be able to achieve greater projects ahead of me. If you don't think it, you can't get solution. God said in his word that he has a good plan towards us. He wants our happiness. He wants us to be joyful. He wants to bless us. What happens when you really want something and you don't get it? Number one, it creates worry. When you desire to have a big house, to have your own house or have your own car, but if you don't get it, you then embark on worry. It affects the habit, which caused at ache or at attack in the long run but this is not the desire of god for us also if you really want something from god and you are not getting it due to lack of money it reduces your self-esteem it makes you to conclude that maybe you are meant to remain low you are meant to remain average for life it also makes you to agree with whatever comes your way 
that maybe that is what you are meant to do in life, which is not true. God knows that if your joy is full, if you are happy, if you are blessed, you will serve Him more. That is why He's asking you today, embark on thinking. When you think, solution comes and more money will start to flow into your life. By doing this, you stop sabotaging yourself. The second way to stop self-sabotage is to educate yourself. Recently, I watched a video of Terry Savé and she narrated a story of an Asian man who wanted to commit suicide. But before this man tried to commit the suicide, a thought came to him. He said he wanted to eat before he commit the suicide. He loved to eat a delicious meal before he commit the suicide. So he got out of his house, went to the restaurant on a street. He has been passing this street for many times. He has never seen this particular sign before. He saw a bookstore. One of the adverts of the book the shop was selling says, become successful easily. This book, this advert attracted this Asian man. He went into the shop, grabbed the book, and made a decision that he was going to read the book at once. He read the book and now this man is a coach telling people not to kill themselves because they have a purpose in life. This man got educated and money started to flow into his life through the coaching he's giving to people online. Don't sit down there and say you never go to university. There are a lot of ways you can learn now, free on YouTube, free on Google. You can even buy courses that are very low price online. Educate yourself. Stop sabotaging yourself if you want money to flow into your life. And lastly, the number three way to stop sabotaging yourself is to pray. Never rely on your instinct or your inner mind or your subconscious mind alone. You need help from above, the creator of the universe. You know how to make the prayer easy. Sleep early at a particular time and wake up at a particular time. Write the routine you want to do every time. You can have your routine in the morning, early you wake up in the morning, or you can have your routine in the night. But most successful people have a daily routine in the morning because they know when they get back in the evening from work, they might not be able to do or follow the routine. If you sleep at 10 p.m. in the night, train your body to wake up at 4 or 5 a.m. Write down, when I wake up, I will first worship, I will pray, I will read devotion, I will read my Bible, I will read quotes, I will listen to motivational videos, I will do exercise. If you write this down, maybe you assign 33 minutes to each of them. When you continue to do this on a regular basis, your body will get used to it. The more you pray and confess on your dream, the more you move closer to God, the more God reveals your purpose in life to you. So when God reveals your purpose in life to you, money starts to flow into your life and you start to fulfill purpose in life. I hope this impacts you. But before I go, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, and this channel's video is impacting you in one way or the other. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share with others so that it can impact them also. Speak to you soon. God bless.